everybody, welcome back to another video. This is going to be my October favourites. Um, I do just want to quickly apologise. My hair is going to look very greasy in this video because I'm currently going through the process of having it um, sort of, not chemically straightened, but they basically put loads of keratin in your hair. What's it called? It's like a special blow dry where they put certain stuff in your hair and then you have to leave it in. Whilst they've straightened it in, you have to leave it in for like three days without washing it. And then you can wash it and it basically takes all of the frizz out of your hair naturally so when you wash it and dry it, it dries nice and smooth. And that is what I'm having done at the moment so I can't do anything with it, I can't put it up, I can't wash it. So I've literally just had to leave it as it looks um, so I just wanted to quickly apologise for that. As you can see in the background I have got my little pumpkin and some really gorgeous flowers. Um, I carved my pumpkin this morning, I had a really fun time doing it, um, and he's called Ned if you wanted to know, I named him Ned, I don't know why, um, but yeah so that is my little Halloween background going on, um, but yeah so today I'm going to be doing my October favourites for you all, um, I've got a lot of things to show you so I'm just going to get started. The first thing is a random thing, it, oh my hair, the first thing is something completely random and it is a book, now this is something you have probably all heard enough about already, um, but this is Zoella's book, Zoe Sug, um, Girl Online on Tour. And this is her second book that she's brought out, and I have already read the first one, I got it as soon as that one came out, and I read it really, really quickly because I absolutely loved it. And so I thought I'd pick up this one because it came out and I wanted to read this one as well. So I am... Um, a couple of chapters in and I'm really enjoying it so far so I just wanted to feature it and let you know that if you were looking for a new book to read you might want to try this one. I'm now going to get started with some beauty favourites. The first one is a skincare product and this is the Aroma Water Toner Water from Lush. Um, now this is something I've had in my skincare stack, stack, stash, stash for a really really long time and I just never really seem to pick it up but recently I've been finding myself using it so much. It is basically a very gentle hydrating mist for your skin. You use it as a toner, you can use it to refresh your face throughout the day. Um, I mostly use mine as a toner in my skincare routine but I've just been loving it and it's really been hydrating my skin. It smells really gorgeous, it smells like roses and it's just really calming and hydrating and soothing on the skin and I just find that it's a lot better than many toners out there and it's not too expensive either so I would definitely recommend checking out this one if you like Lush or if you're looking for a new toner. I've then got another skincare product which is from Ren and this is the Omega 3 Optimum Skin Oil. Now this is a tiny little bottle of it. Again I got this a really long time ago, I think I might have got it for my birthday in a little skincare kit and I have just never really used it much so I thought I'd get it out, start using it, see how I get on with it um, and I basically just use one pump of it every night massage it into my hands and then just dab it into my skin before my moisturiser and I've just been really really loving it. My skin's been looking really nice when I've been waking up in the mornings and I just think it's a nice little added extra to a kind of autumn winter skincare routine to keep your skin really nice and hydrated and moisturised and all that kind of stuff. Now I've got two nail varnishes. These are both from Essie. They look like this and oh what's going on? They're both from Essie. This one here ooh, is Chin Chili, which is a really gorgeous, kind of like grey nude colour. And I have been wearing this a lot recently, so if I've had a colour that looks similar to this on my nails in my videos, it has been Chin Chili. And then the other one is this one, which is Bobbing for Ball Balls. And this is basically a really nice navy blue and I've just been really really liking it and I think it's a very nice colour for the autumn season and I yeah these are just the two that I've been wearing a lot recently I have got red on my nails now but I literally painted these this morning so I wasn't going to count this one in the video I've got a perfume which is sadly almost all gone I've got a tiny bit left in the bottom this is the Laura Mercier Ombre Vanilla Body Mist Perfume perfume I'm gonna say because it lasts a really long time it has got the most gorgeous warm vanilla scent to it and I just love it I've had this for a long time but I've recently picked it out and I've used a good lot of it over the last few weeks um, I just think that when it gets to kind of autumn winter time you want to be wearing like warm spicy vanilla -y sort of scents and this is just the one that I had that I've been loving and I'm so sad it's almost gone I think I might have to ask for another one for Christmas because I love it a lot and it's a really good size to pop in your handbag as well, it's not too big and I think the packaging looks really pretty too. I've got a lipstick, this is from MAC and it is Cherish which is what I have on my lips today. Um, it is basically just a really nice 
orangey brown toned nude and this does look different on a lot of people on me it does sort of look quite orangey brown toned and I think that for this kind of autumn winter season it does look really really nice and it just it's just like the perfect nude colour for autumn um, but on some other people it looks quite pink on other people it looks more nude um, but this is how it looks on me and I really really like it and I just think it's a great one for this time of year I have two more beauty products and the first one is and the first one is the Kevin O'Quan Sculpting Powder. I have mentioned this a lot of times, but it is basically this gorgeous sculpting powder here, used for contouring. I just pop it right in this little area here where I want to look a little bit darker, and it is just like the perfect colour for paler skinned people, and I love it so much and I literally can't go without it. I think the packaging is really really pretty, it looks very sophisticated um, and yeah I just love it and I take this everywhere with me and I just don't know what I did before I had this. The next beauty product is from Hourglass and it is their ambient lighting palette. It's very dirty, I do apologise. Um, and basically inside you get three really gorgeous kind of highlighter powder things. Now I when I first got this I didn't use it for a very long time because I wasn't 100% sure what I was doing with it or what they were supposed to be but the way that I use this, it may be wrong, is after I have done my contour and bronzer I pop a bit of this darker shade here on top of it and it just gives it like a bit of a sheeny kind of shiny, bronzy, pearly kind of effect and then the other two I use as highlighters and sometimes if my face is looking a little bit dull and my skin isn't looking its best I will pop a little bit all over the whole of my face to kind of brighten it up but I do mostly use them as highlighters but they're very subtle highlighters but I just think it's absolutely gorgeous and I just love it a lot and I have been using this a lot over the last month so I thought I would feature it and let you guys know. I now have a candle to show you, now this is a Yankee candle and it's called Red Apple Wreath and it looks like this, it looks very Christmassy, very autumn-y, oh, it smells divine. Literally it smells like apples obviously because it is apple scented and it just smells like Christmas and just like winter and autumn in a jar and I just love it and I wanted a new candle for over the next two seasons so I can just have this one on the side burning all of the time and it does give off a lot a lot a lot of smell um, I'll be burning it in my bedroom and you can smell it in the whole of the upstairs of the house I just love it and I know I'm going to be using this a lot throughout kind of Christmas and that as well um, and I just love it and I think it looks really pretty obviously because it's red it looks very Christmassy and autumnal Everyone always says I use that word too much, so I'm trying to stop. Okay, so I have three favourites left, and they are all kind of beauty and fashion. No, they're not. They're all kind of fashion-y products. And the first one is this handbag, which you have seen me talk about before. Oh, I've got it the wrong way around. It goes like this. So this is my bag from Urban Outfitters. Um, I have done a what is in my handbag video featuring this bag so I will leave a link below to that video if you would like to go and watch that one if you haven't seen it already and I basically show you everything that is actually in my bag it's not a staged video it's everything that I found in the bottom of my bag like all of the rubbishy things so if you'd like to see that go and click on there but anyway this is my bag from Urban Outfitters and I absolutely love it obviously I've been using it the whole way throughout the month and I just think it's perfect size it looks perfect for the autumn season and I just love it a lot and I'm so happy that I got it so I thought I would show you. Two fashion products left. Fashion products? That doesn't make sense, does it? No, my money. Okay, so the first fashion product I've got is a coat. Now this is from Zara and it is just the most gorgeous coat slash jacket thing ever. It's got a fleecy white fur bit around the neck and then it goes like so. I'm so bad at showing this. It's basically a grey sort of furry jacket with a nice little pocket here, pocket the other side, and then these bits here. <laughs> I literally can't describe it. I'm going to put it on and insert a little clip here so you can see how it looks because I'm so bad at describing, but it's absolutely gorgeous and I've been wearing it so much throughout the last couple of weeks since I've bought it and I just cannot get enough of it and I think it's so comfy. I wear it all of the time and I just wanted to show you all. And then the last thing is something else that I have not taken off for however long I've had this for and this is my new dressing gown um, I did recently do a blog post on my blog so if you would like to read more about a few um, kind of cosy products I've been using and my dressing gown and a few products and candles and stuff like that then head over to my blog and read that 
but in the meantime I will show you. This is from New Look and it is actually from the teenager section. I'm not even embarrassed. But it is this gorgeous grey colour. It does sort of look a bit light blue but it, it is grey I promise. Um, and it basically has a really cute little hood with little ears on it. I don't know if you can see the little ears. And then yeah it is just like your standard dressing gown sort of thing. But it is so cosy and I've been wearing it ever since I got it and I literally can't take it off and I wear it. If I'm at home for the day I will literally wear it all day and I just love it and it's so cosy and I just wanted to show you all. So I actually don't think that video took as long to film as I thought it was going to but I really hope you enjoyed seeing all of my October favourites. Um, let me know down below in the comments what you've been loving throughout October and yes thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give the video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe if you are new and I will see you all very soon. Goodbye!